Hi everyone, welcome back to Sorry Mom's YouTube channel. My name is Rasmus and today's topic is job stoppers. Today we're going to talk about one of the hottest topics in the tattoo space, job stoppers. Job stoppers are normally known as tattoos placed on hands, on fingers, on neck and in the face. When we talk about job stopper tattoos, we normally call them job stoppers because of the public opinion that used to follow these kind of tattoos. So a job stopper tattoo is a tattoo that is very visible for everyone. If you're sitting face to face with them, if you're working closely with them, it's these kind of tattoos that you can't cover with your uniform, whether you're a banker, whether you're a firefighter, whatever you are. Those are the tattoos that would get you kicked out of a job interview. But today it's luckily changed a lot. I do, however, know that there are industries, companies and sectors where these visible tattoos aren't allowed. And even though you don't agree, and personally I also don't agree, or I actually kind of do, that these tattoos can stop one from having a specific job in a specific company, it's something that we have to live with. So it's very important to be careful about getting a job stopper tattoo if you are looking to, or if you're aiming to go into one specific uh, type of job or into a specific company, I highly recommend reading up on the tattoo policy. Job stoppers has always been, and today is still one of the hottest topics in this space. In general, the tattoo industry and the tattoo community and the public opinion on tattoos has moved a lot over the last 10 to 20 years. It used to be here and today we are here. Since the early 2000s, the tattoos and the people that got tattoos and the placement where people got tattoos has changed a lot. Back then, tattoos weren't for everyone. Job stoppers definitely weren't for everyone. It was only very few people that had these very visible, very clear for the eyes tattoos. But good thing is that ever since then and until today, the public opinion about tattoos has changed a lot. I personally think it's a very, very good move. With this being said, there is of course no doubt that we still have a lot of work to do for changing the public opinion about visible job stopper tattoos. But I think we are on the right path and it's just a matter of time before you will see all kind of people, even your banker, with a visible tattoo on his hand. Three years ago in New Zealand, there was this woman uh, anchor of Rini Kaipara. Sorry if I'm saying it completely wrong, but she went on and got a tattoo in her face. And even though she got her tattoo as a cultural thing, it's still been a very strong movement for the entire tattoo space. And she ended up being the first tattooed or like facial tattooed anchor woman on TV. And I think that shows everything about the evolution and movement we've seen where back in the days, or we were a bad guy or girl if you had a job stopper tattoo, but till today where you even see a, an anchor on TV with a facial tattoo. I think that's pretty cool. Personally, I remember when I was 18 and I got my first tattoo, which weren't visible, I showed it to a colleague of mine and my boss for some reason heard about it. And I was just like a spare time worker in a sports store. I was not even meeting customers. I was doing like tennis rackets and stuff like that. And he came and he told me, you're not getting any visible tattoos, then you can't have a job here. Then I went ahead and I got a tattoo like upper arm in here. And he literally told me to wear a long sleeve shirt when I was working. I didn't do that. I did keep my job, but I remember some of my coworkers, they told me, or my colleagues, they told me that they never ever accepted that before. That was it for the like uh, public opinion on the tattoos. Next topic that we're gonna jump into is rules and regulations about visible tattoos. It's not like the rules are made for job stoppers, if that's what we call them, but there are rules and regulation that applies for what placements one can get a tattoo at or one placement a tattoo artist can do a tattoo at. For example, in the US, visible tattoos are allowed, like legally, public opinion is a different thing. But in Denmark, we have some kind of interesting uh, regulations about tattoos and placements. Back in the days, we had a very cool and tattooed king. The thing is that our current queen's father, Frederick the Ninth, he was known to be a sportsman and a people's man, but also a tattooed guy. And he had a lot of very cool old school traditional tattoos. 
the story says that he was so into tattoos that he wanted to get a job stopper tattoo. I don't think it could stop him from his job being a king, but he wanted a job stopper tattoo. He kind of wanted to limit it to, to everyone and apply to everyone that people couldn't get this kind of tattoo. So he, even though he was tattooed himself, he enforced and made the, the law that says that it's not allowed to do a tattoo on hands, fingers, feet, neck and face here in Denmark. Most places in most countries, you have to be 18 years old to be allowed to get a tattoo. It's the same here in Denmark. And personally, I completely support that. I think it makes perfect sense. I would even say it should be like 21. I didn't know shit when I was 18. I was young and stupid and I really didn't think things through. Sorry kids, but I think the same applies to most people out there. I know that there are places where you're allowed to get a tattoo earlier if you have a signed uh, agreement with your, from your parents and all that kind of stuff, but I've never ever heard anyone say that was a very smart decision I made. I heard it the other way many times that, oh man, I got this tattoo when I was 16 or when I was 15 and I hate it. It was such a dumb decision. So I think that's the only rule or law about tattoos that I support 100 and 10% because come on my first tattoo is the one I'm currently getting laser removed because it's blocking for my future bigger tattoo project and if you decide to get a dumb tattoo when you're young get it on your upper arm get it somewhere where you can hide it don't do visible job stopper tattoo don't do that at the same time because when I was 18 I got my first tattoo imagine if I had it on my hand I would have to wear gloves every day Denmark is cold but it's not that cold Face, even worse, you don't want to be wearing your ski mask when you go swimming or when you go to the beach. So don't, 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 don't do stupid 110% visible tattoos. One thing that you really need to think about and care about if you decide to get a, a tattoo, say, on your hand is the aftercare process. In general, aftercare is always important. Check out one of our many other videos to learn more about it. Say hands, for example. If you decide to get a tattoo on your hand, aftercare is probably more important than ever before. I think it's pretty obvious, but hands are in touch with so many things, so much dirt, so many bacteria, pretty much everything we do, we touch or do something with our hands. But it's also worth considering the the aging process of these kind of tattoos. This goes for both face, hand and feet tattoos. Your face is always exposed to sunlight, if you are where the sun is shining and the sun is shining out there, you know. Fingers and hands, that's back to being in, in touch with a lot of things. And the skin on your fingers is changing a lot. It means that the aging process will increase dramatically if you decide to get a tattoo on your hands or on your fingers. That's also why you see people that has letters or something like that on their fingers that the outlines will be bleeding out and bolder than say a fine line tattoo on the chest. I really think that the aging process should be one of the most important things to consider before you get a tattoo like that. And it's also worth considering what kind of labor you have, what kind of work you do. If you're working a physical labor, say you're a carpenter or something, you use your hands a lot and your tattoo on your hand will of course age much faster. And as pretty much said before, it's very, very important that you consider the limitations from corporations or public opinions. I have seen people and I know people with job stopper tattoos that can't get a job in a specific industry, in a specific company. They can enter a certain nightclub. They can go to that restaurant they want. They can't do the things that normal people can do. And I think it's a big limitation to, to apply to yourself that you're suddenly not a normal person for these organizations or places anymore just because you have a visible facial or hand tattoo. Even traveling, say you go to specific countries in Asia, it can limit you a lot in terms of what you will be able to do. And of course, since they are placed where they are and since they are called job stoppers, as we spoke about, these are tattoos that you can't cover, you can't hide them. Say you decide to get a 
football tattooed on your hand. It's very important that you think that you will always be that guy in the room, that guy with a football tattooed on your hand, unless you're wearing gloves. That means if you go to a wedding, if you go to church, if you go anywhere, if you go to a restaurant, if you go to visit your grandmom or your in-laws or whatever you do, you will be the guy with that tattoo. Personally, I like talking about tattoos, but I also hate being the tattooed guy that always has to talk about tattoos. If you do decide on getting a tattoo that makes you the tattooed guy every day for the rest of your life, you will always, no matter where you go, at what party you go to, there will always be someone that thinks about your tattoo, gets an opinion about tattoo, talks to someone else about your tattoo, or wants to talk to you about your tattoo or tattoos in general. And the cool thing about having tattoos that you can cover is that, I mean, I can go to a restaurant with my girlfriend or parents or with whoever I want. I don't have to think about that people will be looking at me and seeing, ah, oh, he's a tattooed guy because I can cover that. One of the coolest things about job stopper tattoos, at least in my opinion, is that it becomes such a strong way to express yourself, whether it's proving your passion, proving a life story, proving whatever it is. Say you have an anchor tattooed in your hand. I'm just making this up. When you got the anchor, it was the time when you decided to get sober. If that anchor just looks pretty damn cool for everyone else and they don't have to think too much about it, but for you that means to stay grounded where you are in a good place in your life, then it's probably the strongest expression and strongest reminder and strongest a milestone that you can get for yourself because you will never ever be able to pick up a drink again or whatever you do without having to look at that tattoo. And also I do think that job stopper tattoos, they can most of the times look pretty damn cool. I do understand why people get it. I will however say, and that's again just my personal opinion, personally I think it's much better to get a tattoo on hands or on fingers, whether it's to prove a strong statement if it's to express something to yourself or remind you of something or show something or whatever it is i think they also look super damn cool on the hands that is something you can wear more like an accessory like a watch or whatever and that becomes a part of you uh, but you'll still be the same guy with with a clear face and a face that people see that without having to judge your tattoo that brings me over to facial tattoos it's easier to be the guy in the room with a hand tattoo than being the guy with a Mike Tyson tattoo around your eye. Because if you decide to get that, yes, it can look cool, but it can also represent something you don't wanna represent. It can make you look like a, a villain, like a, a wild person, a, a criminal. It can make you look in so many or appear in so many ways that you might not want. And that's not because I'm saying that's what it will, but people have seen movies. You might meet a kid with your facial tattoo and the kid will think that you're a dangerous guy. You might be the nicest guy on earth, but that's not what you appear as. I would say if you are, going to get a job stopper tattoo, get your hand tattoo. Don't do face. And the next thing is also if you decide to getting it laser removed. Laser removal in your face, just hear it. Oh, that sucks. Tattoos are always evolving, always moving. And so is the public opinion about all kinds of tattoos, but also about these job stopper tattoos. And I hope and I do think that one day we won't call them job stoppers anymore, but we will just call them hand tattoos or facial tattoos or just tattoos. I think it's just a matter of time and yeah, it's more likely that we see a facial or hand tattooed banker than a hand tattooed president, but we are on the right track and we are on the track of getting to a point where a tattoo is just a tattoo and a tattoo is for everyone. And since this is one of the hottest topics, I would like to ask you guys, what do you think about visible or job stopper tattoos? Should they be allowed everywhere for everyone? Should companies or organizations or industries or public authorities, should they be able to make rules or tell you you can't do this because of that tattoo? I would love to hear your comments, your opinions, and yeah, if you have any questions, anything, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, share it with your friend who is about to get or considering talking about getting a, a hand tattoo. And uh, yeah, take care. See you. Adios!